Uh, what's going on everybody? Sammy if man here bring you a video. I've got the man, the myth, the legend. Now it's took us <laughs> so long to sort this out. We we done a recording, it's about two or three <laughs> weeks ago and I'm not gonna lie, it was my fault. It didn't record <laughs> properly. I don't think it recorded it at all. So we've both got busy schedules, so we finally found right. a time. We we had trouble even connecting to each other about an hour ago, so hopefully it all goes well. So do you wanna let us know who you are, what you do in your life, what what's all you're gaming about? Go and yeah. take it away. Alright guys, well um Xavier, my channel's called Mr. Xavier and there's a little storage of that, but uh so let's not talk about it. <laughs> if you God, no, you've got to, to talk about it. You would probably go into it. If you go to my channel, someday I'll make a video of why my, what the name of the channel is Mr. Xavier. But uh, people are usually in games call me Xavier or any of the nicknames that my Steam name has. But for the most part, we do on my channel, we do games. Uh, they're usually audience requested if I get anyone to request games. Usually my friends tell me what to play. But um, most part, for the most part, it's horror games. People enjoy to see me scare. I don't know why people out there do. So horror games is the main idea. If you if if there's anyone that any any at any point has any request, they'll usually tell me, and I'll try my best to play the game. For the most part, I do. I think there's only one game I haven't played yet that someone requested. But for the most part, anything the audience wants, the audience gets. So. That's how it usually runs out during the channel. I do reviews of a couple of things on that, unboxings of that, things that I buy that I use for the channel. So I always try to keep everyone updated. And uh, for the most part, that's how it usually runs out. A anything that the audience usually, the audience runs the channel pretty much. Yeah. I just do, I just do what they want. They, they, they tell me and I do. <laughs> uh, uh, for my personal life, I... Well, gaming's always been big. <laughs> I mean, that's not even a question. It's always just gaming. Gaming is... Like, everyone's like, guys just like to game. I'm like, it's not a guy thing. It's just the enjoyment of playing a game. Yeah. Something about it. It just... It's endless fun for me. So, so much to do. So little time. I wish I had more time to play games. It'd be so much fun. But um, it's it's a big part. So that's that's one of the bigger parts I like to play sports i always keep myself active uh doing going college so a college student university the other guys call it over there yeah so it's it's, it's yeah. attempting we'll see if it works out if it doesn't <laughs> well, <laughs> you never know something else might pop out of there and uh at youtube's you right now is usually a fun thing a little hobby that i like to do i enjoy so much making videos you have no idea like when I started, I've been meaning to start this channel for about a year now, and I just never got to it because time, either I forgot or just, I just never really got into it. And I, I'm ashamed of that because now that I did and I got this, I got started, it is so much fun. Like, I've learned so much about editing. I learned so much about videos, games, and just... I've learned a lot about setup and how frustrating something can be, but at the same time, how how much of an accomplishment accomplishment you get when you you got a video out there people are, are watching it you feel like oh man i'm doing something with my life that has a meaning i might have like a video that has like two views two people watched it and i'm happy with it because there's two people out there that felt the need to watch one of my videos because they love him so much so i'm like I, i'm i'm i feel so good about that because yeah, it's, it's. I know I feel I'm uh, I'm nearly breaking two thousand views. So now to mm. a lot of people, it's not a lot, but especially being from where I started, which was with literally me with an iPad, recording just talking about gaming, to now where I try and do my own custom thumbnails, or I try and edit to the best of my ability. Of this mic here i try and get the best stuff i can god yeah. knows how much money i've actually spent on my whole setup now so when you people actually come to your channel and they watch and like it it's like two thousand views now to me that yeah. is huge like and i'm like i think i'm at about i think i'm at eight 1,890 odd, and I'm so oh, excited. I'm like, oh, yeah. it's happening, it's happening. Yeah. See, see, for me right now, I'm, I'm near, I'm getting really close to that 1,000, the first 1,000 views. 
I'm on what 32 subscribers, and it's just like every every view and ever. I'm like there. I'm just so excited when it happens. It's like the highlight of my day when someone watches my video. Like I put a video up and like minutes later, I'll be checking it. Like someone watched it. I'm like I just put that up. I, that's that is happiness. That is like a little kid opening the gift during Christmas for me. Is I feel like it's worth doing. I feel like people are enjoying it. I have one of my friends who loves my videos, and he's one of the main reasons why I actually keep going, make, keep making these, because he, he tells me he, he's watched pretty much every single one of my videos. And I'm like, why? He's like, I, I think you're funny. I think you could be something big. And it makes me feel like this is something that I could pull off. Something, it's a big accomplishment, something that, we, that with time, if you put enough time into it, it it, it gives out. It gives out. So and it and it's like a lot of people think when people say make it big or you on about money, but you're not. You you honestly, it's something to show. Like I know, like other YouTubers that like we talk every now and then, and we've spoke about the whole idea of YouTube, and they say, well, I have my CV for like my real world job, and yeah. they put their youtube channel on their cv because it shows hard work and dedication and yeah. when when you look like i think i've got about 50 videos up then all the, every 50 video one of those videos was through hard work it weren't me just piss arsing around with a camera it was me actually trying to my first video where it was me just talking i actually tried harder try to keep things going to learning how to speak properly which the more you do it the, more, the easier it is so it's like it's hard work but i think the reward you get even by people just liking and subbing your channel really pays off yeah i think i think it's not even like if it was for the money i'm too small for a youtuber to make it for the money I, it's just it's i think i feel like youtube i could make it a job and it'd be awesome to make it a job but for now what i'm doing right now i love it and i don't care if i get money or not like i've spent i haven't spent a ton amount of money because i started what about three months ago i think maybe not even maybe yeah about three months ago that i started and since then uh this is all this is this setup that i have now is it's just partially things that I already had. My computer I already had. I game before. This headset I bought because uh, games that I used to play and like just multiplayer. So it's nothing that I had I didn't do before. It's just I never got started on YouTube. It was a thing that was it's always been I should do it, but I never started. And I I enjoy making what I do. I love putting as much effort as I can in my videos. Like I, I I'm one of those guys, quality over quantity. So now and then like there'll be a um, couple of days without a video, and I feel I feel terrible when I don't upload. But it it takes it takes so much time to do one video because it'll take me it'll take me a few hours to simply edit the video, like putting the especially with the new outro that I worked in, uh, working that in. It took me so long just to make that. I think it took me three days to make the outro for my channel and. and <laughs> I'm still testing it. I mean, it's something something new that you learn. And when I did it, when I put it out there, and uh, someone said you're getting so good at it, so you're just getting good at editing. I'm like, I feel so good because I put I put so much effort into it. And uh, any any views, anything, any anyone sharing my videos, anyone liking them, commenting, makes me feel like it's worth doing. Like someone someone out there might have a better day just by watching me. I feel like that's one of the biggest things that that can happen. So mm, it's honestly it's, like and especially I think editing is a skill. Like little things like I've I'm not the best editor and I'm never gonna be. But even <laughs> the uh I released a video, I think it was another introduces video and I literally in the top corner where it's so about the about there I had gameplay and then the border around, I had like just the toy all and just because I thought it'd look a bit more snazzy. And I was so proud when I done that. I was like, yes, oh, look, this looks amazing. So, yeah. like, it's learning that bit of accomplishment. Is, yeah. Yeah, it's a, that bit of accomplishment. When I was doing my, because I changed, I changed everything when I did my outro. I was, I did a new logo. I did uh, a new, like, 
the the like the music for it. I had to I had like five people that I asked, do you think this this track will work with the outro? You think it looks good? And I I was asking around. It, that that took so long. And I I have Photoshop skills cuz I I did Photoshop. I did yearbook when I was in high school. So I was editing pictures, but it wasn't as big. I, I I didn't understand that much then, and I've looked so many through like a lot of tutorials, so many tutorials yeah. on how to do things, and I managed to start. And every every time I learn, like every time I try something, I'm like oh wait, how do I do this? I learn something new. I I get better, and when whenever I finish it and it just goes up, boom! I feel so accomplished. That first time that I put up uh, the video with the outro, I'm telling people throughout the video. I'm so excited. I put a new outro. Just, please, if, if you don't watch the video, you skip to the end. <laughs> watch that. Tell me what you think. Because it was so, so much work. And you want people to give you feedback and, and see how you did. And I feel like YouTube, because it's such a just community drive. And if it, you don't have a community, it's just, it doesn't work that no. well. But for the most part, I'm like, Everyone that tells me any little thing, when I started, my friends were telling me, you should make your camera bigger. And it was harder with my, my laptop camera because zooming in and trying to work everything just in one screen was a lot harder. But I have a webcam separately. I have, I have two monitors running. And it makes everything so much, much better. But from the first, my first video, we were talking about this. Uh, I feel like it was so crappy now. Back back then when I put it up, I was like, oh my goodness, my first video is up. I'm so excited. And I was so nervous the first time. I completely forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> I didn't I didn't tell anyone who I was. I didn't even I couldn't even pronounce the name of the game. I didn't even know that. All I know is that I was I started recording. I said, if I don't do this now, I'm never gonna do it. And I started, and I'm so glad I did. I know, like, I was sick that day. It was on the Sunday night, and I'm like, I shouldn't, but I'm going to. And I did, and from that day on, I'm like, I, I know I was sick. I know it was a crappy video, but I'm glad I did it. I'm, it, it, was, it was just the nature, just the fact that I did something, and it was accomplished in, in such a great way. I was, I, was, I was just thoroughly happy. I was, oh, man, I was like, oh, man, I did something good. And people are watching it, and no one's telling me that it's crappy because of my first video. But like inside of me, in comparison to what I do now, and I know it's not that huge uh, timeline, but it's something. I've improved so much, and the simple fact that I've, did, I've done that, even if I didn't get any views in the videos, the fact that I've improved and I've learned so many skills from then, it just makes it worth it. it I, I love doing it, and it's... It's fun, and I'm hoping that people like it enough for me to keep doing this. And uh, it, it's it's it, it's something that is, it's not just YouTube. It's people out there watching you and enjoying it. Yeah. As much as as much as I do. So I mean, you learn new things, and as you go, you get better. And it, it I'm just hoping to one day become good enough for people to just enjoy it. And I don't care about the money. I don't care. If it's a big audience, I just want someone out there one day send me an email, send me a letter, and tell me that I changed their day and that I changed their lives. That because they were watching my video, they were entertained to feel like they, they, there's something out there for them too. And I want to be that. I want to be that guy. I want to do something with this, not just videos and entertainment. I want to be part of people's lives, be someone that they can relate to. I, I think. Yeah, it's one of it's 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 just the essence. M main thing where I started. The reason why I watch, why I watch other YouTubers is because not only do I relate to them, but I, it's just it's a it's a daily thing. It's oh, it's something that I can do. It's something that I see them doing. Like later on in my life, I can do it myself. It's I'm like oh, I I, lo I love that relationship. And if I can have with that with someone else, myself, and I created it, it's just so big. And it, it makes me it will make me feel. That day I get that. If I ever do, it'd be it'd be one of those things that in my bucket list that I can cross out. Yeah. And uh, it'd be it'd be it'd be it'd feel so good that day. <laughs> Big accomplishment, I think, at least for the yeah. Yeah, it's definitely like that's you see the way I feel like YouTube is basically rather than 
actually watching TV now or just come in and put YouTube on if people eat the dinner in front of telly or watch or eat dinner in front of YouTube it's it's, it's such a better medium than uh, like satellite telly or whatever you'll be I, I honestly love it and I like the interaction especially with the smaller YouTubers I love the interaction rather than just watching a show I can actually interact with the content creator rather than just yeah being a bystander yeah that's that's like one of the things that i try to integrate in my channel as much as i possibly can like i go on my social media and i'll ask people would you rather have me play this game or this game what would you rather me do have any ideas or something you want me to do and if someone says something or on youtube they recommend me a game i'll take screen caps of their their comments and i'll display them and i'll thank them in the video because i feel like that's something that not a whole lot of people do because i feel like if it wasn't for them i wouldn't be doing yeah. what i do so i i feel like including the audience it's always always important and i know like being a small youtuber is a lot easier to do it because you have you can personally interact with everyone that comes into the channel but even even if i if i ever were to get big if, and it, if it doesn't happen either way but that's a relationship that i want to keep it's something that I've always, uh, I know it's gonna, it's gonna even get harder and harder the bigger you get. But I'm gonna try, yeah, as hard as I possibly can, to keep the audience in in because it it's it's not just the entertainment, it's pretty much a connection, it's a relationship that you built with the audience that they they watch you, they enjoy it, and they tell you and they give you the feedback. They're the ones who make the channel, and like you say, watching TV nowadays, so just watching a show it's it's, it's fun oh, it's fun well, but it's so it's pointless there it's like i'm so used to watching youtube i can leave a comment in someone's youtube ch um, channel and i get a response and i'm like oh if i were to make a comment on this tv series and that i love and it's just not gonna work that way then no one's ever gonna contact me and even even when i make a youtube comment even if it's not just the creator someone else has always something to say so this is something that beats television this day yeah it beats it by far I, I think that doing youtube is that big difference that connection with your audience pretty much immediate feedback not only can you look at it you can respond to it in a way that it's like you didn't like that okay let me change it like how can i make it better and i feel that i feel like that's what made YouTube what it is today. That creation of videos, making it so much better than uh, ever before. So I, I feel like it's not just gaming, even though gaming is a huge thing in my life. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do. So I feel like, hey, if I can do it, if I can find time in my business schedule to make a video, relax, and just forget about everything else, I do this. I, I, I find time to do this because it's worth it. It's worth that time. It, it always pays off. So I think I think that's a big thing in YouTube, and that just that relationship with the community. I feel like I love that a lot. Uh, you can do so much with it. It's kind of so many endless possibilities yeah. of people that you can do is you can help out so many people, and it, you can do so much with it. I'm hoping that one day uh, I can do that as well. It's not just entertainment but it's also helping others yeah. leaving your leaving your mark in this world is what matters and i think youtube has made that so much easier yeah and it, it i love it i love i love what they've done with with uh entertainment is so much better nowadays yeah, <laughs> Go on. it's like so xavier where are we going to find you we understand you're a really nice guy everyone wants to go over to your channel now we want to tell you to play the worst games ever and, and i'm not even joking <laughs> they've got to be awful when i mean like not even scary like we know he, he's not a scared guy he's played these games like we've we spoke about him i'm scared of having a heart attack he don't mind go and awful games they have to be the worst games you can think of so head over to there where we where do we find you um, so we have the link on like the YouTube link. You can do youtube.com slash user and it's Mr. Xavier 2012 IFY. Don't ask me why the IFY is in there. I still don't know, but back when YouTube 
was when I created the account, YouTube was doing that. But there, it's an IFY at the end. I'm sure there'll be a link. Yeah, the there's the, everything's sure. going to so, be linked. Uh, there's that. And uh, you get a chance links to everything and subscribe in there. There's links to my social media. It, it's one of the key things in my with my audience. If you contact me in social media, it, I'll see it and I will read it and it will happen. Trust me. And and now that you said that, they're gonna go look in the internet for the worst vi video game ever, and uh, <laughs> they're gonna have me play that because you know amnesia is not gonna be enough for them now. No. It's not. Uh, Guns. They're gonna, they're gonna find something. They're gonna find something, and they're, it's gonna give me a heart attack. Yeah, I hope so. Because <laughs> you, you're not scared of a heart attack. So let's try. Uh, let's no, try no, make scared. it happen. <laughs> let's make it happen. Go on. <laughs> go on. Thanks, Xavier. Honestly, really great goal. Just go over there. He's, I've watched a bunch of his content, and I'm sure you'll like it. Try to stick away from the scary parts, but. <laughs> There we are. <laughs> Go to, uh, thanks, Xavier, um, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to check out my recent videos. The previous one to this is the Early Access cast. Me, Ed and Harley, talking about all stuff gaming, Metal Gear Solid, everything and in between. And the featured video is about the update on DayZ. So click the links there. You'll go straight to the page, and I hope you enjoy it. Samith, man, out.